Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. I'm Quinn and in today's video, we're just gonna be doing a lot of different crafty things. I've just been so busy doing all the Centro School stuff that I haven't really been able to document all of the actual fiber art stuff I've been doing and making. So I'm in the middle of a lot of different projects and I really want to be able to spend some time working on them and kind of getting through some of these projects. So we're just gonna hang out for, I don't know, like, a week and kind of just craft. Also, I'm using my new camera, so I'm sorry if like the footage changes a lot throughout this. I have not used this camera before, so we're experimenting with that too this week. So first things first, I'll just bring y'all through all of the different projects I'm working on just so you can kind of get an overview of what's to come. First, I'm working on this hand knitting project. It's the Gulf Shores top from Lion Brand. I've shown y'all this one before. This is a crochet blanket I'm making for my mom. Next thing I'm working on is spinning. I'm spinning my own yarn. I have a bunch of roving and a little bit of yarn, sort of. Um, it's not going well. And the final thing that I'm working on this week is dyeing some yarn. This yarn, I just did a mordant, I don't know like how to phrase this. I mordanted it. I did a mordant on it last night and I have three different kinds. This is some avocado dyed yarn I made a while ago. This is some tea dyed yarn I made a while ago. And this is just bare yarn, like undyed. And I'm gonna do two different kind of dyeing experiments this week. I am dyeing these three here with some avocado pits and skins. And then I'm gonna do the same with like th these, I have like more of all these yarns. And I'm gonna do the same thing, mordant them and everything and dye them with onion skins. Okay, we're gonna be up close and personal because the lighting is better right here. I just got all of my dye stuff out of the freezer, like all the stuff I've been saving over the past six months or something. And I have a lot. And I just, so I just wanted to show y'all because it's really funny. Here's a bag, here's a bag, here's a bag, there's a bag, and here's like a little container. It's not so little, but you know. So, yeah, um, I have a lot. I need to sift through it all because I'm gonna do onion pits and skins and onion skins like separate. And I didn't keep them separate when I, you know, just threw them all in the freezer. So that's first thing. They still have their stickers on them. in here. That stove is going so it's really hot in here. So while my dye is cooking over there on the stove, I am gonna start knitting. Technically, I started this top when I was in Mexico a few weeks ago, but really all I did there was make a gauge swatch and then I started making the top, but I had to undo the whole thing because I screwed up and also I realized that I wanted to sort of change the pattern a little bit. Basically, I'm just like cutting out a few of the rows because I want my top to be a crop top because I, I like a good crop top. So I just decided to start over. And so I started over like two days ago and I've already done like all of this, which for me is pretty good because I'm very slow. This is the second knit project, hand knit project I've like ever done. So I'm still a beginner. So I've been knitting for a few hours now. The dye is almost done. I think it has about another 30 minutes to go and then I'm just gonna kind of let it sit overnight. So right now I'm just working on the back panel of this, but eventually when I get to the front panel, that has like a kind of cool design on it. I don't remember what the stitch is called exactly. It's like a twist or something. And I'm very excited to get to that point because I'm hoping that, you know, when I learn how to do that stitch, like maybe I could learn how to do it on the centro then, like I could figure out how to do it. That's why I'm trying to do more hand knitting projects now because you don't need to know how to knit, hand knit to use the centro, but I do think knowing some stuff about hand knitting or like if you just do know how to hand knit, it's 
it's good because you can translate a lot of that to this intro. So I want to get a lot better at hand knitting so that I can, you know, figure out some more stuff on the centro and come out with like some really cool like patterns and tutorials and stuff. The avocado dye is done cooking on the stove now and I got a little bit to show y'all. So here's a little kind of white background it looks way darker on camera than it does in person, but like it's it's dark. So I'm just going to let that sit and cool off overnight with all the dye stuff in there. And then tomorrow I can actually start dyeing. For now, I need to actually write a script for a Centro school video. So y'all can watch me sit at my computer and type. Good morning. I spent the rest of last night writing my script, which I finished, and just knitting. So I can, I'll show you all my progress on my knitting. That's how far I am. It's very slow. And then this morning I dealt with the dye. So I like strained out all of the solids that were in there and made it all nice and clean. So it's, it's ready to go. So that's what we're gonna do first this morning. I got my yarn cooking on the stove and I made some more coffee because someone woke me up really early this morning so she could go outside and eat leaves. But now I think I'm ready to do some spinning. This was my first attempt. It's very uneven and bad. Like I'm not expecting it to be good, but I am a perfectionist and so it's, it's hard to... <laughs> not be perfect at it right away. So it's very frustrating. Also, when I first tried spinning the other day, I somehow hurt my knee doing that. I don't even know how I did that. Cause like literally you just, you just stand here. Like you're not moving really. So I don't know how I hurt my knee, but that's, that also happened. So I'm not loving it so far. So I made a little bit of progress. I still don't really like it. At one point, I kind of felt like I was getting the hang of it. Like I could have this spindle suspended while I was like spinning, but I can't figure out how to do it unless I'm at the end of my like chunk of roving that I have. Like I can't do this suspended version if I have like a lot of roving in my hand. Like I, I don't know, I can't do it, but it's way easier to do it when it's suspended I don't know. So I'm gonna keep trying it, but not right now. Right now I'm gonna take a break from it. I need to start filming my next video for Centro School. I just finished filming for Centro School. Here's what we made. Very exciting stuff but I am extremely hot and sweaty and hungry. So first thing I gotta do is change and eat. Okay, I changed and I have some hummus and tortilla chips as per usual. So I need to eat and then I need to clean up my entire desk area. Every single time I have to film for Centro School, I have to like rearrange my entire desk because the lighting situation in our apartment is terrible. So after I'm done eating, after I'm done putting my desk back together, then we can check back in on that yarn that has been cooking on the stove all day. Don't worry, I have not forgotten about the yarn on the stove. I checked on the yarn and I am pretty satisfied with it. So I turned off the heat and I'm just gonna let it sit in there overnight to cool off and hopefully soak in a little bit more of the pigment that's left. I think it's looking pretty good. I'm feeling very tired and low energy. I think I just had like a big day and it's been really hot in here like the last couple days because the stove has basically been on like for all day long. I'm probably gonna be very boring tonight and just sit on the couch. <laughs> 
I don't really know if I have anything else in me for today, so I'll, I'll just see y'all tomorrow. So this morning, I, I had a really late morning, so it's actually like mid-afternoon now, sorry. But today, I guess, I got my dyed yarn out of the pot. I rinsed it all off and now it's hanging up to dry, so it's looking good. I'm, I'm very hopeful about it, especially the yarn that was already dyed. Right now, that stuff looks pretty dang good. So I'm really looking forward to see it all dry in a couple days, but in the meantime, I do want to dye some more yarn. I you know I want to use those onion skins that are in my freezer. So we're gonna also dye some stuff with onion skins. I need to make the dye today and then, you know, I'm gonna let it sit overnight and all that. So I gotta get that going before I do any other work today. So let, let, let's go do that. Onion skins are cooking on the stove. We know how this goes. I've got lots of free time now, so I actually am going to use this time to edit the next Centro School video because I do need to have that ready for Wednesday. Sorry, it's gonna be kind of boring today. We can check back in on the dye later, I guess, but mostly I'm just gonna be editing. Are you freaking out? Here, wait. Are you pretty cute? Oh, look at you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hi. Okay, sorry. Daphne's freaking out because it's almost her dinner time. What time is it? Actually, Daphne's freaking out because it's one minute past her dinner time. So I I'm gonna make this really quick. Where, what even was I talking about? Oh. Um, yeah, no, just proud of myself because I've I've gotten very far on my editing, uh, so that's good because it's only been a couple hours. Usually it takes me like a couple days to edit a video. But also, the onion skin dye is like done, gonna let it cool overnight, you know, but I wanted to show y'all the dye. It looks literally exactly the same as the avocado dye. I don't, all this dye just always looks red. Also, it smells really good in here. It smells like French onion soup. I'm gonna let it cool overnight. I'm gonna go feed Daphne and then take her on a walk and then I'll see y'all tomorrow. I woke up this morning and realized that I forgot to morden my yarn last night. So my onion skin dye is all ready to go. I cleaned it all up this morning and I can't use it. So yeah, that, that's my bad. But I got my yarn and it's little morden bath right now. So it's just, it's gonna do its little morden thing for a few hours while we go do some fun stuff with Daphne out on the town. So let's go. You're posing. So the yarn has now been dyed and it's ready to be like rinsed out and start drying and all that. It's very yellow, which is fun. Yesterday, we did some fun things with Daphne. We sunbathed for a while, which was very cute. And then we took her to the dog park for like 15 minutes. And then we took her to get a bath, which she hated. And then we also went to Joanne's and did a little yarn haul. So I'll briefly show y'all what I got. First, I got a lot of Lily's sugar and cream yarn. I'm gonna make some kitchen towels because we're moving soon and I want some nice new kitchen towels that are cute. Next, I got some True Boo yarn from Lion Brand. It is 100% bamboo and I think that this will work on the Centro. So that's my plan. Gonna make something on the Centro with this one day. And then last, I got 
a crap ton of this Woolies yarn in all these different colors because I'm making a crochet sweater for Jared. And last night I even made this little swatch. So then today I'm gonna be doing a lot of cooking and cleaning and I'm gonna deal with that yarn right now so that it has some time to dry. It is no longer the weekend, so it's time to get back to work. I spent this morning finishing up editing my video for this week, so that's out of the way. We can just keep doing crafty things now. And I think today I kind of want to focus on doing my crochet blanket that I'm making for my mom. I have barely worked on that at all in the past like week, so I think that's the focus for today. I wanna try to get a big chunk of it done. Before we get started, I realized that I have not really explained to y'all my concept for this blanket, so let me, let me just do that real quick. Here's my sketch, and you can see for the main part of the blanket, I'm doing like a neutral ombre kind of deal, and I am actually following a pattern for the main part of my blanket, so I'll link that in the description below for y'all. But then the border, is you know going to be made up of those mushroom granny squares that I um, made you know for my pattern if you want to check that out I have a pattern for a mushroom headband and my mom really liked those mushroom granny squares in that headband and she asked me to put a border of them around her blanket so that's kind of the plan Just got back from walking Daphne and let me tell you that was such a nice break. My wrists and my elbow were getting so sore from crocheting for so long. I was desperate for a break, but I'm feeling better. I actually want to time myself doing a row on this whole big giant blanket because I'm just curious how long it would take me to do just one single row at this point because like this thing's big. I got my timer, uh, I got my yarn, I got, I got everything ready. So, go. Done, oh my God. 34 almost 35 minutes so honestly that's a lot faster than I was anticipating I thought that it was gonna be like an hour for one single row I don't know what I'm gonna do with this information but I guess I'm glad I have it I think that's enough crocheting for tonight I think I'm gonna take a little break see y'all in the morning It's all finally dry. So this morning I want to cake all of these up and then we can go ahead and look at all of the beautiful colors that we got. Okay, finally, I have wound up all of that yarn into cakes and it looks beautiful. We can start with the avocado yarn first. Here I have a cake of the same yarn that's undyed so we can see how much color these took in. So here is just the bare yarn that I dyed with avocado pits and skins. I think this is a very nice color. I think that, that would look cute on me. This is the yarn that I had already dyed with avocado pits. It kind of looks the same as the bear yarn, but that means that it did pick up more color than it did the previous time I dyed with avocado pits. This was the tea dyed yarn where I had dyed it previously with tea. Here's what it started out as like months ago. It looks great. Mordanting this yarn was essential and I will remember that for next time that I, that's what I need to do because 
it, it worked a lot better than the last time I did this. Now for the onion skin dyed yarn. So bear yarn, it started out like this, you know? This worked so well. I can't even believe how well this worked. It's, it's kind of insane. Look at this bright yellow color. That is so cool. And this was the avocado dyed yarn that now I dyed with onion skins and it's slightly more orange. And then finally, this was the tea dyed yarn. Definitely very different from these other ones. It's sort of like an olive oil, kind of mustardy color. But yeah, very happy with my results. Okay. I think that's all from me for this week. I'm kind of exhausted from all this crafting. It was good, very productive. I feel like I got a lot done, especially with this dyed yarn. I've been meaning to do that for months and months and months. Sorry, this was such like a chaotic video. I, there was a lot going on, but there's just, I got a lot going on. So it's just authentic. If you enjoyed this video, then remember to give it a like and consider subscribing. I'm gonna go sit on the couch now and do nothing because I'm very sore. So I hope you'll have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.